that. You have to isolate it. Move it away from the fat. Okay. So we can see it. Do you want scissors? I do. Do you need scissors? No, no. Don't need scissors. Use your probe. So. That's mesentery all around. Can you around. try there's a hole in there? I think you can just cut it through. Ms. Fuchs, are you paying attention? Yes. What was it? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, anyway, that would be That's it. That's the pancreas, okay. Uh, class, let me have your attention. Come over here, Mr. Um, Sing. Okay, uh, Q, you too. Um, the pancreas is at the, the juncture where the, the pylorus meets the duodenum, all right? And of course, you'll have to isolate it, but this will be the pancreas here. Okay. Yes, sir. Is that it? Yeah. I can't see it from here. All right. But it's it's at the end of the the stomach and the beginning of the duodenum. That's where you'll see uh, the pancreas. Okay. Also, what I want you to do is isolate the ureters from the kidney and follow it to the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder, okay? This is a male cat, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, you have testes there, so. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, this is the, the small intestine here. The large intestine is here. This will be the sigmoid colon right here. And this is the rectum here. Okay, up here you'd have the transverse colon, see that, transverse colon, on the other side you'll have the, the ascending colon, you have to isolate that, okay, okay, all right, now you have a female cat, right? Yes. Okay, let me... Wait, what about the kidneys? Is it? Right, on both sides, okay. one, two, over there. And this is the spleen, right? This. That's the spleen, right? Okay. That's the spleen, okay. okay. No. Uh, oh. <laughs> it didn't slip, so. Okay, all right. Okay, this is, this is the greater omentum that you were not supposed to cut, all right? <laughs> this is the fat apron that, that uh, hangs over the entire abdomen. This is the female cat. The female cat, of course, has fallopian, has um, uterine tubes. Okay, all of you look up over here, okay? Um, the, the uterine horns are like this. Again, you have a Y, okay? And the, uh, the Y, of course, meets a base, which is the vagina. Now, at the top of the Y here, you have the ovaries. The ovaries are the bean-shaped structures. Above the ovaries, you'll have the fallopian tube. This is the fallopian tube, okay? And it's on both sides. Again, this is the uterine horn right here. 
At the top of the uterine horn, you'll see this bean-shaped structure, which is the ovary. Above the ovary, you'll have the fallopian tube. This is the, the fallopian tube, okay? This will definitely be on my lab exam, so you guys need to know this, okay? Again, this is the urinary bladder here, all right? Okay? Oh, you have to look for it. Okay, this is the stomach right here. This is the stomach. Follow the stomach to the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, and the and it should be right at this this juncture. Looks like it's all chopped up. Yeah. Well, it should be in this area here. Oh, um, also you, you look at the, yeah, this is the uh, lesser omentum right here. It extends from the lesser curvature of the, the stomach to the liver. So that would be the lesser omentum. And this will be the greater omentum. The greater omentum extends from the greater curvature of the... Sam, what are you doing? No. Okay. So this the greater omentum. This is the, the lesser omentum here. Okay. All right. Any questions? Can you point out the um, vessels of the heart? Vessels. Arteries. Okay. Okay, here we have the this is the, the left subclavian. This is the aortic arch. Aortic arch has three extensions. This is the left common carotid, and the middle is the right common carotid, and one on the right is the brachiocephalic. Okay?